New tonight, a borough in Schuylkill County has voted to suspend its police department. Fox 56's Jake Sauer spoke with the Gerardville mayor to learn more about this. Jake. Yeah, Aaron, after consideration, Gerardville borough voted to suspend their police force until the end of the year. To save taxpayers money, the Gerardville borough government toyed with suspending their police department. We need to either increase taxes in the upcoming year or do we make the hard decision and say enough's enough. We gave our best shot, but we can only continue to increase taxes so much to fix uh, problems. In April, Mayor Michael Zangari surveyed over 30 residents with nearly 90% supporting the suspension of the department. At their May meeting, Mayor Zangari presented the idea to council who unanimously passed the resolution. What it did was it put PSP uh, out of the Frackville barracks on as our primary coverage. Sure. Zangari says the state police are familiar with the borough since they only had a part-time police force. We were only allotted 56 total hours a week for coverage um, if we were filling the schedule completely. It's really not much of a difference when it comes to coverage and response times. The borough has between now and the end of the year to decide whether it's financially feasible to reinstate the police force, stick with state police, or join with neighboring communities. Zangari says joining with a neighboring area doesn't necessarily mean coverage based out of the borough itself. It might be patrolling once or twice a shift. It might be responding to incidents, but they would not necessarily be located here in Gerardville. Do we gain from doing that or do we gain from staying with the state police, which really doesn't cost us additional funding? The mayor says in the past, major incidents within the borough were turned over to state police to investigate. Now, the mayor says that he'll be letting state police know by the end of the year, of course, his decision as to if they will be staying with them or if they'll be choosing another route, although he hopes to do so a little bit earlier with budget planning starting out in August. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.